Hey guys, I'm back with another video and as you guys can tell, I have my weave in. Yes, I put my weave in and I dyed my weave. Um, pretty much the same color as my hair. I went darker and I wanted my weave to blend in as possible, as easily as possible. I don't know what to say. Um, <laughs> so we might be wondering who the hell am I again and yes I've taken quite some time off and the reason being is because I once again <laughs> if you guys have been following me for a while you guys know that I have really extreme severe asthma and I unfortunately just couldn't even breathe for like a couple of days. It was really tragic, really sad. I thought it was just allergies and like it was going to go away because I took like some allergy pills and stuff, but it didn't end like that. I had actually ended up using a month's supply of nebulizer treatment within a week's period of time. Um, prior to that, I've used another month's worth of nebulizer treatment in two weeks so I um yeah I had a little bit of some difficulty and then I decided to go to the hospital which is something I kind of knew I should have done when I used the first month supply of treatment in two weeks and I went and they gave me some prednisone and they gave me a ton of medicine. So I am fine. You guys can probably hear me a little bit like, because <sighs> that comes with the territory of having asthma. Yeah, yeah. But anyways, I am back to share my, my month is it March favorites. And I guess that would have to be my first March favorite is prednisone because it really opened up like my area to breathe. So now I feel awesome and I feel like I can breathe and I am going to be like jumping up and down. Not this week, but probably within the next week or so. I'm going to jump up and down because I am so happy that I can finally just... <gasps> Breathe. So anyways, I'm so I'm going to start off my favorites with like not randomness, but pretty much technically some randomness. I don't have a lot of beauty products, guys. I'm sorry. Um I've been pretty much using like the same things over and over again, but I do have a few new things to share with you guys. So the first thing is going to be like this, these two randoms. You're gonna be like, what? Um the first thing is going to be the Colgate Optic White Platinum Ex this toothpaste that I received inside of my Vox box. Um, I've used you know some of it already. I don't know if I would have to say it is a favorite. However, I have been using it for the past couple of days, weeks, whatever you want to say. And I didn't notice a huge uh, difference. If you guys can, oh, well, let's spit. If you guys can tell, I don't notice like that much of a huge difference. However, I do feel like it does brighten my teeth. What I really, really like about it, though, is the fact that once you um, begin to brush your teeth with this toothpaste, there's like this warming sensation in your mouth, which is, I know, kind of weird. But there's like this warm sensation in your mouth. And I think that's like the water mixed with like the peroxide or whatever is inside of here to like really um, activate like those whitening... whitening particles I don't know but it activates whatever's in there that's going to uh, whiten your teeth and it just makes it nice and warm and you can tell exactly where it is trying to like cling on to and clean off to because it just tingles just a little bit and I don't know I really like that though it's really really cool next up is this really filthy and dirty bottle of Neutrogena Body Clear Body Wash, the pink grapefruit body scrub. I have it upside down. And yes, 
my bottle's really gross because for some reason my I believe oh there's water dripping okay so that's why I didn't want it <laughs> I didn't want to turn it upside down but anyways uh, my bottle's really filthy as you guys can tell because I have hard water what they call hard water so this is what happens to products whenever I leave it in the bathroom it gets really like crusty like this for some reason. But anyways, I really, really like this because, I'm gonna set this down. Because um, since I do have like oily hair and oily scalp, I do tend to not break out on my back, but I can tell when I don't wash my hair a lot. Um, it gets like a little weird and like greasy like in the back. I know it sounds really, really gross, but just like up where my hair ends. And it just feels really weird. So I like to use that because sometimes it's really difficult to reach, you know, the bar of soap or just like your hand or whatever the case may be. So whenever there's like a situation back there, I like to take that, put it onto my back scrubber, and then I'll just scrub my back like that. And then I feel squeaky clean. Yes, I feel squeaky clean. I have two hair products to share with you guys. And the first one is, I don't want to say this is a complete favorite, but I do have to say that I have used it a oh, couple of times this month. This is the Bamboo Style Cleanse Extend Translucent Dry Shampoo. And this is from the brand Alterna. And it is in the scent Sheer Blossom. Now, you guys already know that I say this all the time. I am not a dry shampoo kind of person. I just not into dry shampoos. I don't know why. I don't feel like they do anything for my hair. I actually feel like they make my hair weigh down a lot more and it just feels a lot dirtier than what it felt like before I used the dry shampoo. I don't know. But all I like to do is pretty much like put this into my hair as like a hair perfume so that when you're because you come on let's be real we all know that when we have dirty hair you can smell the scalp and it just smells like farts and socks that's what it smells like to me so i just like to place this into my roots so that i have something covering that scent because that scent is not sexy whatsoever but that is pretty much it i just like to use a spray as a hair perfume and this is the Dove Hair Therapy Nutriot Nutriot <laughs> Why can't I read anymore? Um, solutions. This is the Nourishing Oil Care Conditioner with Weightless Nutri Oils Argan Oil Blend. Maybe if I wasn't trying to read so fast, I would know how to read, right? So this is the conditioner from Dove and it relieves dry, rough, and frizzy hair. And oh my gosh, guys, let me tell you something. I have extremely, like, not extremely, let me stop lying, but I do have dry ends still from when I have blonde hair. You guys probably already know that. Um, I don't know why I touched my weave. I feel like my weave is really bad. But I do still have, like, dry tips in my hair from whatever was left from when I used to bleach it blonde and i have to say i use this one time and it is oh my gosh it made my hair feel so 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 soft and i was easy easy i was i was able to brush my hair very easy also i put it in my daughter's hair because she has really long curly hair like super puerto rican hair like mine and she oh my gosh it let me brush through her hair like no one's business. Now, the only thing I have to say, though, about this is that it kind of makes you smell like baby powder. So if you're not into that kind of thing, I will warn you that it kind of does make your hair smell like baby powder, which I don't mind. I just like anything fresh and clean, so I really can care less. But some people I know, they're like, ooh, baby powder, I don't like that smell. So just want to give you guys a heads up for that. Onto some skincare stuff. This is the Milk Oil Conditioning Cleanser from First Aid Beauty. And uh, why do I feel like I look kind of dark? Mm -hmm. This cleanser is absolutely awesome sauce. And what it pretty much is, it's a conditioning cleanser and milk. What? Blech. It's a milk cleanser. So all you do is pretty much shake it up because it's like really, really watery in here. 
and then you shake it up and then you just put it like this onto a cotton round or something like that and you just pretty much rub it into the skin uh, all types of skin tones can use this and it'll just turn into like this nice soft gentle cleanser that helps hydrate the skin as well and let me tell you guys something it melts all of your makeup off and when I say it melts off your makeup, it melts off your makeup. You know how some brands or some things like they claim to like take off all your makeup? Yes, it does. Take it off. Um, you can put it on a cotton round and remove it. Or what I like to do is just spray some into my hand, go like this to it, massage it, and then just start pressing it into my eyes and onto my face and then just gently rub it off so that right before I'm jumping in the shower, I just have like this weird dark cloudy mask all over my face i'll leave it sit there for a little bit and then i'll go into the shower and then just rinse it off and then when i come out the shower my face looks nice and beautiful next up is this alginus genius ultimate anti-aging cream which i have a little baby sample size from when I used to work at Sephora and oh my gosh guys I don't know if it's because of the cleanser or I don't know if it's because of this I have been using these two together all at the same time and my skin is just ah. and I have to say I don't know ever since I started using this though I really noticed it take charge right away i just feel like my skin looks nice uplifted and just kind of like get it sucked back in i don't know it doesn't feel like it's losing 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 its elasticity but then again i've also been using my hourglass veil foundation a lot and that has the ingredient ingredient matrixel in it which matrixel is actually a collagen booster so Ooh, I don't know, but I don't know. I just feel like this though does a trick. It hydrates my under eye area, and usually I don't like to do that because I use an under eye cream instead of just rubbing my all over face moisturizer everywhere. I usually use an eye cream, but let me tell you, I've been using this and I've been able to put it just under my eyes and inside like that inner corner, and nothing extreme happens. Usually I used to use the Caudalie anti wrinkle under eye cream. And I used to find that that actually used to give me really dry patches, especially like up here, because it was not safe for the eyelid. And I find that I'm able to put just a little bit of this on my eyelids and my eyes are completely fine. Uh, makeup wise, we just have a few things. So this is the Hourglass, <laughs> this is the Hourglass Illusion Tinted Moisturizer in the shade Beige. Now, I have a brand new one, however, I'm not showing you guys because I love it on me, however, you guys know that I am a pro makeup artist, and I love, love, love this tinted moisturizer for my clients. It is called a tinted moisturizer, but it has like full on coverage, but it doesn't look heavy, it doesn't feel heavy, it feels like nothing on your skin. It feels exactly like a tinted moisturizer, but with the coverage of heaven scent. Yes. So if you are someone that is completely dry or even kind of combination and still like that super duper glowy look, you're going to love this. And I'm not saying that because I'm not being paid to say this or anything like that, but this is seriously like... girl bomb.com i don't know if last month i uh, i talked about this product and if i did whoopsies but i like it again this is the tarte maracuja creases concealer and this is in the shade medium tan and i actually like to use this under my eyes i'm sure you guys if you guys 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 you guys have guys, guys, um if you have all uh, what if you all have watched my makeup tutorials, you guys probably have seen me use this. I hope I've made a video using this. I don't know. Now I have to look back. This has been my go-to concealer. It just covers up everything. It is full-on coverage. And it also has a color corrector in it. So it helps diminish the appearance of blueness under your eyes and everywhere else. So shout out to this because I love you. Mm -hmm. 
This is the Laura Mercier Mineral Finishing Powder in the shade 1. This is a translucent powder that I've pretty much had for like, uh, it feels like forever, but not really forever. I don't even know if Laura Mercier even makes this anymore. I don't think so. It lies. It's actually discontinued, but it's just a translucent powder and it is pretty much done. Um, I'm kind of sad. It just makes your skin look really, really nice. It just gives you like that soft veil kind of finish. So I like to do that when I'm just pressing it into... I like to just place that while I'm doing my eyes so that I don't have any issues with creasing throughout the day when I don't wear like primers or anything like that. I'm my L'Oreal True Match in the shade W4 and I am just about done with this. I feel like, guys, I really, really dig my brush in here and I just feel like the, the pan is like never ending. So what I pretty much like to do with this is buff everything together and it just creates a nice flawless filter like effect to the skin and that is pretty much it i like to add it for a little bit of warmth if my foundation ever looks a little bit too pink so i'll just add this for a little bit of warmth and to add some yellow or for people that don't like a lot of makeup i'll just add some concealer some of this powder and then they're good to go and that is it and it's so inexpensive it's like what seven eight dollars if that i don't even know how much it is anymore because that's how long i've had mine Tarte color clay tinted brow gel in the shade brown black i have it on my brows right now if you guys even care but all i do is run this after i fill my brows with some powder um i hope my brows look a little better <laughs> i've been actually doing them with some powder instead of pencils I am done with all of the ratchet pencils I've been I was using for the longest. Um, I use them because I was just trying to get rid of them. And here's a little bit of a tip or a sneak peeker. I don't like NARS eyebrow pencils. <laughs> I guess that's why they were discontinued. If they were, if they are discontinued, I don't know. I remember having discontinued NARS eyebrow pencils, and they were awful. But now I'm back to powders and I just like to layer this on to create a nice calmed down appearance to my brows. And that is it. Last item would have to be, which I don't know what the top is, but this is the L'Oreal Infallible Setting Spray. Mm, now I don't know if I want to say this is my favorite, however I have been testing it and using it a lot lately. It definitely has been like my go-to setting spray, but I still don't know how to feel about it because I feel like when I use this, it makes me, it just makes my skin, I feel like it produces more oil for me. Yep. I really, really, really wanted to like this because it is a drugstore, you know, product and it's a little bit cheaper than most of the setting sprays that are sold in like Sephora's and Alta's and things like that. But it, one, it is pretty actually free and pricey for a drugstore item. And two, I mean, it is a little bit cheaper, but it's still pricey. And two, I don't know. I just feel like, I don't know. I feel like it produces more oil into my skin. Let me know what you guys think down below. And let me know what your situation is with this spray, if you guys use it. To me, I don't know. I don't want to say it sucks because it doesn't suck. But I've used it a lot. Last two items are these two Tarte brushes. And the first one is their eyebrow brush. And the second one is their liner brush that came out with their celebrated 15 years collection. This eyebrow brush is everything. The angle brush is so dense. It picks up just the right amount of product. And then it has a nice spoolie at the end that blends everything so effortlessly and then of course this liner brush is a dual ended eyeliner brush which has like the bent liner side and then it has like the straight side which what happened here um anyways all you have to do is wet if you ever have brushes that do that um but i really love using the angled side because i just really love angled bent liner brushes like this i just feel like it's really really easy to use and i feel like it's very like basic for like everyone to use and this side i do use it but only when this side is dirty <laughs> and that ladies and gentlemen 
is the end of my March favorites. <laughs> oh my gosh, March, it's already going to be April. And <sighs> anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know down below some of your loving favorites. And let me know what new products you guys want me to try out because there's a bunch of new things in the market. And yeah, just thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it very, very much. And I shall talk to you guys later. Bye.